We are here at Floor Field with Brett Harker after Furman's 7-6 win over Presbyterian College here to wrap up the first pitch invitational. Paladins again on a weekend winning two out of three. And Brett, I, I told Nico's basketball team this all season long and, and him as well. I guess I got to start telling you now, you guys have a grasp for what we in the media want. Late inning drama, flair for the dramatic, keep the ratings high. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> very unnecessary drama right there. I didn't need that one in my life. Um, but they, they, we hung on and we, you know, that was close there at the end. But we, we weren't expecting that with Jake out there, but that, that's why you play the game. I had some opportunities to, to really extend that lead to maybe keep it from, from getting so hairy in the ninth inning. And especially in that eighth, you got the bases loaded, one out, and a couple of guys at the plate that you just want to have up there yeah. and, and, is, and couldn't get the big hit. I told them that's the first time this year I felt like we looked tired. Um, we're going to take tomorrow off, even though we're on spring break, and just rest. Um, I thought we looked tired on the mound. I thought we looked. I thought our swings were slower today and loopy. Um, so we need to regroup a little bit. You're right. Those are guys that we want up right there. And I just thought our swings were slow and long. And uh, we had some chances to score some big runs, not only in the eighth but earlier in the game. We just we failed to. And um, and that's what happens. Then you don't score those runs in the ninth. Uh, you know, there's a hit batter. There's a bloop. There's a couple things. And and now all of a sudden. You got the time run 90 feet away, and it gets a little tight. That's why you want to stay away from those those things. And yet, despite all that, you were able to hang on to win the game. Yeah, and that, I mean, at the end of the day, listen, a win's a win, and we will take it against a very quality team. Um, and, and once again, we didn't we didn't play our best, but found a way to win, and that's the sign of a good team. So I'll take it. Talked about this in the pregame. You've won all three weekend series now, even though this was against three different teams. In the last two weeks, you've done it. Losing Friday night game started by Will Gaddis. Yeah. And and that, I think, says something about this team. Yeah. It says we got some depth. You know, in years past, if, you know, we lose on Friday night, we're going to be in trouble. Um, now we got to figure out how to win Friday and then continue to do what we're doing on Saturday and Sunday, and then we got a chance to be an elite team. But, uh, like, I'm proud of the guys. Jabari had a big hit for us. Grilt was right back at it. He did really well. Landon Kay is staying one of the hottest hitters in the country. Um, those guys are really carrying us right now. And winning's fun. And right now we're rolling. You know, one guy on the mound that I, I didn't think looked tired, I thought threw the ball pretty well for you, was Billy Greenfield. God, man, I thought I told Billy when he came in, I thought that was the best he's looked all year. Um, I just like the matchup better with Jake's breaking ball against Avery there in the, mm -hmm. in the bottom of the eighth. But, man, he looked good. And it's funny, after eight, we got Avery out in the ninth, we got these lefties coming up. I was saying, boy, I wish I could re-enter Billy, you know. <laughs> but you, you deal with the ninth when it gets here. At that, at that point in the eighth, I thought that was the best decision for us at that point. Um, but, yeah, I agree. I thought he looked really good. You talked about uh, Carter swinging the bat again and and Landon Kay. Those, those two guys drove in five of your seven runs. And you know, Carter occasionally will get into these little slumps, yeah. but they, they don't last long, do they? No, and, you know, he had his two knocks. And, man, I thought the very first ball of the game was absolutely smoked. I thought his outs were hard. He put together some good at-bats, but that's, what, that's why he's the player he is because, you know, he didn't look like himself on Friday, and then, bam, Saturday, Sunday, he's right back at it. So it's good to see him. So tomorrow off, you said, I guess it'll work out Tuesday and then Wednesday. Got Tuesday, uh, got early Butler at home. Butler, right? Yeah, Butler at home. We're looking to continue um, stressing the importance of our midweek games. We keep saying we don't want a one and eight shot. We want to win 40 games going into our conference tournament. So we don't have to win our conference tournament. To do that, you got to win midweek. And we're going to continue to stress that being a huge emphasis this year on, on us winning those games. And once again, I, I figure out ways to make it a huge challenge. That's our next challenge. And then when, when that game's over, then we'll talk about the madness of going and playing in front of 13,000 people. Looking forward to that, too. Sounds good. All right, Brad, thank you very much. Thank you, Dan.